guys back to you with another video today we're going to be changing the engine coolant temperature sensor on a 2003 Honda Civic now just to be clear before we get started we have two we have two sensors one sensor is the sensor right here it's located by the uh, what's that the thermostat housing that's the temperature uh, sensor that turns on the fans uh, when the engine get um, up to temperature and then this temperature sensor that's on the top of the motor that's the one that uh, send a signal to the gauge like the um, the level like how hot the uh, vehicle is so that's the one we're going to be changing that's the one that we get in the P0118 code so if your engine light is on and you get in the P0118 code most likely that's that's what it is and if you're not sure if that's it or not, be sure to check your uh, the plug. My plugs and everything look good. Nothing corroded. Everything looks solid. My antifreeze is full. If your antifreeze is full and everything, your plug and stuff look good, then most likely it's just the temperature uh, sensor. And I know it's my temperature sensor because for a while I could see, like, on my gauges, like, sometimes the um, the hand doesn't go up on that. It, go, it goes up just a little bit. Like it's cold, but the heat be getting hot, so I know I know it was, it was an issue with the uh, temperature gauge. But any, anyway, um, I'm up for, to take the emission test, and just like all the time, every time I'm getting ready to take a mission test, something fluky happens, something crazy out of the you know, ordinary. Like this thing could be running fine. I can I can go out of town, drive halfway across the world, nothing. Soon as get a mail and a letter for the mission test, go in the car. That's when the engine light want to pop on. It just always happened to me. It's just, it's just my luck. So, um, you can. I have a diagnostic machine to put up, the hook up to it, the little cold reader to hook up to it, and that's the code I find. But if you don't have one, you can always go somewhere like Advanced Auto Pause, O'Reilly's, or um, AutoZone, and they'll read that engine light code for you and get you a printout. But, um,. I picked up the switch from Advanced Auto Parts. The switch is, they have them cheaper online for like $10 and stuff like that, but I'd rather get it at the store. The ones on the line is a little bit cheaper, but like I said, you don't want to order it and have, probably rather just get it for the store. That way, if anything happened, I can I can take it back and go up to get another one. You know, you get what you pay for. This one right here is, <clears throat> let me open this package up. That's the sensor right there. Yep, let me sit that to the side. And all you need, guys, is a flathead screwdriver. Uh, um, a ratchet and an 18 millimeter socket. And um, that'll come off. You can use an open face wrench or a box face wrench, but it's going to be hard to get into it because it's not flat. You have to take this stuff off. And then still, the housing not flat, you have to like, you won't be able to go flat on there. You have to go like in. It's going to be hard to get it off, in my opinion. So just get you a deep socket to go in there, and it should come right off. But you can use a screwdriver for this if it's hard to get off. But normally, you could just press this plastic piece in and pop this plug right off like that. All right. Now, before I take this out, I want to tell you guys a little bit very little antifreeze might come out see since it's on top of the motor you don't too much have to worry about replacing the antifreeze you can i mean you can if it just started to spill out i got a um a, um a catch pan under the bottom just in case it come out but this is the uh cooling sensor right here that you have to worry about because since it's on the side of the motor that's when you're going to lose antifreeze and that's when it's going to come out but you don't too much have to worry about it and if you need some antifreeze, I know Honda Civic has blue antifreeze. For this, um, vehicles have blue antifreeze, but you don't have to worry about that. You can add green to it. I already checked in uh, the manual and did my research. You can add green to it with no problem. Uh, just don't add any other color. Don't add uh, pink and red or orange, all that. You can't do that. Green is, uh, you can add green if you don't have a blue. So this is the socket 18 millimeter socket let me put this on here there you go okay let's see if we got any 
I need to fit that spills out. I doubt it if we have anything spilled out because it's on top. Let's see. Oh, I was wrong just a little bit. Just a little bit. Barely any little bit. And then you take the um take the new sensor. Never start it back. Try not to start it back in there with the uh, socket. Put it back in there to start the thread by hand. And be sure not to cross thread it. Be sure not to cross thread it. Because you cross thread it, you're going to have problems. Alright. And don't over tighten it. Oh, and I'm gonna, let me take this back out for one quick second. Alright. You don't have to put any uh, anti-seize nothing on there because it's antifreeze. Um... See that right there? I don't know if you can see that. That's a, uh, that that gasket right there. Make sure it has the gasket on it. Make sure it has the gasket on it. And then, <laughs> speaking of the gasket, I got to take this old gasket out. See that? I would have had a leak for sure. This is the old gasket to the other uh, sensor. Make sure. I almost made that mistake. You see that? Make sure that's take it out because you'll double gasket and it'll leak for sure then. Anytime you double gasket something, it'll, it'll definitely leak for sure. Um, put that on there. Be sure not to uh, cross thread it like I said, otherwise you'll be in trouble. Alright, start it with your hand. Bam. And don't over tighten it. Please don't over tighten it. Because then you'll run into all types of problems. Well, most of the problems you'll run into, you have to get another sensor. Don't over tighten it. And then, like I said, if everything, if you got the sensor and everything on there right, you have to worry about it. That's good enough. And I'm, um, Get like some water and pour it on there. After I put the sensor to rinse that little antifreeze off, we'll spray some uh, cleaner up on it, uh, some brake cleaner to dry that up. Cause if it's a leak in there, I definitely want to to know if it's leaking or not. All right, and then you just plug it back up. You can reset your code if you have a. Uh, Make sure the plug the same, first of all. <laughs> Hold on. It went up in there. I know it's got the same plug. Hold on. Didn't hit no click. The plug went up in there, but I didn't hit no click. Like the other one. Let me see. There we go. Cause you didn't press it all the way up in there, idiot. All right. Um. Now to see if um your engine light go out, you could just drive it. I don't like the reset, man. You can you can disconnect the battery cable to um for like thirty seconds, and it'll reset the light. And you can um reset it with the um, the scan tool. But I like to drive mine and let it go out naturally, cause most likely when you drive it and to see that the code fixed a few times it's gonna cut itself off and that way you know you got the problem and then i know man i know this was the problem because um just pay attention like i said a lot of times the gauge on a dash it'll be reading kind of low but you'll you will know that your uh sensor is working because you'll see that uh the hand is going up like to the middle to operating temperature that way you know that it's, it's that problem Alright guys, and that's how you change the engine cooling temperature switch, uh, the one that controls the dash on a 2003 Honda Civic. It works for other vehicles too. Um, so don't forget to comment, like, uh, share this video, turn that notification bell on for future videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Be safe out there. I'm out. Perfect. 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 Perfect.